What up, everybody? I'm back. I hope I have enough time for the compressor kicks back on. Um, if it, it's it's like really thundering outside, so hopefully it, I don't know if that's gonna get picked up or not, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so man, I appreciate all the new subscribers. I seen him and I was like, man, I feel like freaking lazy bum, like haven't uploaded as much, and I really need to. So I appreciate it. I see it. I'm <laughs> working on it. Um, so I'm gonna do a few today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna upload a few today. Um, I probably do like I'm gonna do them individually. Obviously, that way if you search for it, I mean if you're looking for, oh man, I got a pintail mount or whatever. Um, but I'm gonna these are three I'm gonna do. Uh, pintail, ringneck, redhead. So these are all actually kind of simple. Um, the only difference is they are simple, but it's it's kind of like once you get the right kind of color combination going. So for example, like. I know this is ghetto, I just use tape so it doesn't dry out as much, but so this is just like on a color you're gonna do a lot of man, like seriously, you really I mean I fill this up, I just make my own gray, so I'll do like um like um a buckskin tan normally and then I'll mix in a, a lot of black, rich brown, um maybe not really any blues, because I use this mainly for like diver feet or whatever. Um but it's a great base for a lot of species like all three of these because we're going to put the base down and then obviously go over that with uh so say it's kind of dark because it's the diver foot color so then i'll go over it with maybe like a just a little misting of pale blue just to kind of like lighten it up give it a little bluish hue not much and then i can go over with a paintbrush but obviously i'm, I'm going to show that so um all right, well, let's get into it. So, um, same deal. I'm going to mute it while it's going because the compressor in the air, because I'm sure you don't want to hear this. It's pretty annoying. So, but I'll uh, explain it. So, we'll do, let's go ahead and do the pin till for this one. This Vidya, Vidya, King of the Hill fan. All right, so I've got my, my gray here. Let me see if I can. Ugh. Okay. Alright. So I'll uh, hold it up, paint this, and then we'll rock on from there. All right, so we got, so you can see it's dark, you know what I mean? It's, it's on the dark side. Um, hold on one second. Let me see if I can, why is it, it's like this light is on on the uh, video side. So it's kind of dark, so what we'll do now is just kind of like lighten it up a little bit, and then we can go in with the, the stripe. And I'll kind of show the process, it's like a two-step deal there but we're getting there we're getting there slowly but surely once the race so we'll take this off and then I'll do uh, I'll kind of clean it out a little bit just to kind of get it uh, I, you know you don't want to contaminate the colors too much but you also don't want to necessarily burn through a whole ton of lacquer thinner all right so We'll just go ahead and do the because once you go on with the black, that's kind of like the step where you're like, all right, well that's that's the finishing, the finishing touches are on the black. So um, here I could probably do this just with on. It's it's real like real quick. 
So it's just light mist, just basically to where you kind of start to tell that it's, you know, misting or, or changing color a little bit. And it's kind of the deceiving part too, because once you once you get main thing is just a nice even coat, because under different because I have different lights set up for this, but under you know normal lights it's going to have you know that bluish hue to it, and you don't want to go too much blue because a pintail bill is actually kind of like a pretty uh, dark deep deep gray blue or like a deep kind of grayish with a little blue hue to it. And also when you go and if you know do the matte. Uh, gloss at the end then that kind of brings out a little bit more of the coat of blue that you did so so just something to consider so clean out the blue ah. be right back All right, didn't time that well. All right, so so then now I'm going to do the black. So just visually, you'll be able to see kind of what I'm doing, but I'll uh, I'll try to show that best I can because then the rest of it's just going to be dipping the paintbrush in this from this cup and then kind of hand brushing a little bit. So be right back. All right, hopefully this has like a a little better. Shut that light off. There we go. All right, so I'll mute it, and then I'll uh, do the black. All right, so we got so basically what I did is just it's just like a very rough outline, just where it's like majority of the paint you're gonna use. It looks green as the light, this lighting. It's like a yellowish lighting over here and kind of up there, and so it's like it seems like I have to say that a lot. Like just trust me, it looks different, but maybe I'm just colorblind. I don't know. Anyway, so. So this is just kind of like, I want the base, like the majority of the stripe. The rest of it, because when you go in, if you do it just with paint, it's going to like um, like puddle or like smear kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but it just it just looks funky. If you're just kind of doing it as like a touch-up, then it, it doesn't really affect it as much. So I mean here, the bottom's done. I just want to make sure that all the little outer edges are real so obviously like the nostril area I just want all those lines to be 
And in the pa in the past, I've used, I mean, you could use Sharpie, um, especially if you have like a one of the thick nozzled ones or whatever they're called. So here I'm just kind of going along the very edge side of the bill, and then that's kind of gives it that. So now you so now you can see the difference between kind of like the sharp edge, sharp edges, and then the, kind of the blotchy. And then all that is is just like I don't know. It just obviously a, a real pintail is pretty sharp. And the only way you're going to really achieve that, even with the most detailed brush, is going to be um, with a brush. Or I'm sorry, with a paintbrush, not an airbrush. So I'm just kind of making a line. And again, you know, I'll kind of go in the middle a little bit just so the the shine is the same. Even though once I do the gloss in a minute, that'll that'll negate all that. But so to make sure, and I do a lot of the I do this a lot with um really most of the ducks. To be honest, like the outer edge around the bill connection, it always it always seems to look a lot better, a little more crisp than opposed to, um, you know, say just leaving a color where it goes straight into the feathers. I know some of them have it, but a lot of the mallards will have the, a little bit of black. And it just kind of, it just, I don't know, it separates it. It just, to me, it looks better. But to each his own. So what I do doesn't mean everybody has to. So so anyway, it's it's nice and crisp. And so like now, if I had the option of, I could have rubbed it with my shirt, like we've talked about before, or I'll do, um, oh, I'm so stupid, I didn't get the, hold on, maybe this is it. Oh, okay. I did, I'm not as stupid as I thought, yay! So then I'll just do a couple little bit of matte clear, and then um, just to kind of uniform it out, and this, this stuff really does dry, like, you know, it looks a little shiny at first, but once it dries, it really does kind of have that just right depth of, of like, shiny, but not really. So, obviously, it probably looks shiny as crap in the camera, but let's, let's blow on it here. So, but as it, as it dries, and so, obviously, the bottom's black, and then you have, so, but you can see, it just, it, it's a nice, real crisp, everything's sharp, but everything's solid, and... It just looks, it works good on pintails. And as you'll see in upcoming videos, it works good for a lot of stuff. It's a lot of similar colors. The only difference is how much, um, maybe blue or how much, just another secondary color you missed over it or whatever. So it makes a, so, oh, so two things. First, I want to say, if you're going to get an airbrush, man, do two things. Go to Hobby Lobby with a 40% coupon. You can get an Iwata. It's okay. It's not as detailed, really, as I normally like. Or you can get a cheap one. They normally have like a a black. You, main thing I like is the the dual action, the single action where you gotta unscrew the bottom. I think it's kind of stupid, but whatever. Um, these like they'll have like a black plastic handle. It's like from China. It's all the same crap from there, but it's it's still metal, black plastic. It's like twenty bucks, I think. And but just make sure you're getting the ones that. They do a test sample of like it's real fine because those little cheap ones, man, you could do really, really sharp lines where you really minimize the amount of hand uh, brushing you need to do. And then, you know, it will clog up. You got to take care of it. But that one goes bad and I'm like, crap, I got to get freaking $80 or whatever it is. Well, with a 40% coupon, I think it's like uh, 50, maybe 60. And the other one's like 15, 95, you know, shipping from China. So you know, it's, it's tit for tat, but so, you know, I'd have, I think a lot of people, you don't have to have a, like a super high end. That, honestly, the only reason I got that one is because I was messing around with just some personal fish. And so I needed more something to kind of handle the paint volume. But for birds and stuff, nah. Anyway, normally I get the paddle bit. We can get anything sharp, really. But like the little channel that we dremeled, I always like to make sure to... Uh, just to kind of scratch it a little bit, so when you go in with the super glue, it uh, it'll stick, it'll stick easier, and then you're kind of knocking away, because otherwise you'll get the super glue, you'll rub it around, and it'll be just like a big smear of paint, which kind of gets frustrating. So anyway, just make sure you kind of rough it up a little bit on the edges, and and that's it. So that would be your pintail. 
if you were doing a red bill teal from Africa, or if you're doing a yellow billed pintail from South America, or if you were doing just any of that stuff, um, even a yellow billed duck, um, for, again from Africa, I guess, it's going to be the same format color, color, black, get the bigger parts, go in with the hand to get the sharp edges, the hand uh, paintbrush, and there you go. So it's starting to dry now. You can see it's starting to kind of the gloss, but it has, it's still drying, it's still tacky. But it's just, it's starting to dull down now. It just, I don't know, man. It gives it a nice, pretty pretty damn natural. Anyway, I'm going to download a few today. So this will be Pintel for anybody that's interested. Obviously, if there's any suggestions, man, just let me know. It makes things so much easier if I could just have like a little, I guess, prime directive, sort of. But um, other than that, that is it. See you later.